Hi, and welcome back to Just the Plants, ma'am, where we make plants for the people. Today is Tuesday, January 22nd, and it is day two of Dr. McDougall's Maximum Weight Loss Program. Woohoo! Are you guys excited for day two? All plants, no fat, no extra fun, no gluten? Hmm? All right. Let's go see what I ate today, guys. Good morning, friends. Here is how I felt this morning. I'm sure some of you can uh, relate, maybe? Here you go, the morning foot tour. We are not puffy anymore up in here. 1.47 p.m. and it is time for a potato meal. I do not know if just potatoes is considered a maximum weight loss meal or not, but at this point, I don't even care. We're just going with it. I split two of the potatoes in half and put some everything but the bagel seasoning on it like a very dignified person. The other potato I just shoved in my face whole. Hortons, and I know this location has soy milk. So I'm gonna get myself a nice soy milk coffee. This is the Tim Hortons by Southgate for all you Edmontonians that want soy milk at Tim Hortons. This is where you go. Hi there, could I get out please? Hi there, do you have soy milk at this location? Yes, we do. Oh, awesome. Um, Can I get an extra large coffee with yeah. Four sugar, um, two two milk, but make those soy milk. So two soy. Yes, please. Okay. And then can I also um get a flavor shot of caramel? Sure. And that's everything. Okay, Sierra window two fifty five. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I love this place. I love this Tim Hortons. Ah, oh, I hate the snow. <laughs> Snows, nose, no. Mm, there's the LRT. It is 5.09 p.m. and I'm working on my coffee still. I got my coffee a while ago. It's been in the microwave already once because I should have transferred it over to my Contigo when I got home, but I am not that smart. And I forgot to do it, so I microwaved it again. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Microwaved caffeine. Could there be anything more terrifying? I don't know. Anyways, I apologize that this day is not going to be very exciting because I've been so busy and when I'm busy, I don't really care about eating. Like, I'd rather just run around and do what I need to do than worry about um, eating. So. If you, if you want to lose weight, stay really busy. Really busy. Don't have time to eat. <laughs> All right. I'm going to think about what I'm going to make you guys for dinner because I honestly couldn't care. But you guys are going to be mad at me if all I ate today is three potatoes and a coffee. So I'm going to make something for dinner here. I don't want to. I just want to drink coffee and then, like, go to bed at in five hours and not worry about eating anything else anymore. Mom life, you guys. Mom life. Update, you guys. Okay. I finished the coffee. Like, today has been a very not wonderful day intestinally. <laughs> if that makes any sense. I've felt like you all day. So I think it might just be like the gluten clearing out of my body because my poops have been very liquidy today. Like diarrhea consistency and that is not fun. No fun at all. Like I don't even understand what's going on with my body. But I don't know. Maybe it's the caffeine. Maybe I need to give up the caffeine. Maybe it's causing me intestinal problems. I don't know. But I just thought I'd let you guys know what's going on. Maybe that's why I don't feel like eating so much today either because everything's just like not happy in my belly. 
the brutal, brutal truth of the world. 6.39 p.m. and I've decided that it is time to make something for dinner. So I bought this super expensive ginger people ginger sauce yesterday and I am going to use it. So I probably put in like maybe a tablespoon or two and then I'm gonna mix it with water so that I can pour it all over the same vegetables I ate yesterday because they're what's in the fridge, okay? So I'm at least switching up the sauce for you guys. You could be proud of me for that, right? Huh? Yeah, just a little proud. Yeah, I'm really boring when it comes to food and I can happily eat the same thing every day for dinner if I have the ingredients and it's easy and it's tasty. Can I just say that if eating white rice is not allowed on this program and I have to eat brown rice, consider me done, okay? I am eating white rice because brown rice is disgusting. If you are a person who doesn't really enjoy their vegetables, I suggest roasting them with whatever kind of sauce that you like as long as it's low fat. And you know what? If you don't like brown rice, do not torture yourself with brown rice, okay? We are not here to be tortured. And I refuse to torture myself, so consider myself done with the brown rice because it literally tastes like swamp water to me, okay? But this meal was actually really good. It could have used some Paul Bragg. I didn't put any on because I was trying to like be really good for you guys and watch the sodium intake today. But this is everything that I ate today. Okay, you guys, forgive this quality, but I had to share this with you guys. This man, Cartes Ross, he started the starch solution three days ago and his blood glucose levels are already at 105. Can you believe that? Like, and he says, my toes don't hurt. I can't wait to say what day 10 and day 30 looks like. This would be an easier lifestyle to adapt to. So, this man messaged me and told me thank you for, for, for helping him see that the starch solution could work for him. How flippin' cool is that, you guys? I have only been doing these YouTube videos for a month now starting my fourth week and I'm already inspiring other people to ditch the fat and pick up the carbs baby pick up the carbs check this out I was like so excited for you he says thank you very much your recipes and photos is what pushed me to give it a try I figured I could easily eat all the raw stuff you were or all the stuff you were posting and that's where it all began can you believe it? Can you believe that? I can't believe that. Look at this. The science behind it makes sense. Check out Just the Plants, ma'am. She's documenting her journey on this search solution. I had no idea that I was the driving force that made him want to try this. So, mission accomplished, you guys. I inspired one person to try this mission accomplished. Consider this YouTube channel a success because this is amazing to me. I love it. Okay, I just had to share because that was super exciting for me. You guys go follow him. Go follow him on Instagram. Cheer him on. Let him know that he can do this. Okay, share the plant love. Thank you so much for spending some of your time with me today and watching this video that I made for you guys. I hope you enjoyed seeing what I ate on day two of Dr. McDougall's Maximum Weight Loss Program. Come back and see me tomorrow for day three. I hope you pretty plant people have a glorious day and I will see you guys next time.